Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial that I have for you today for Mac 2020. Uh, right now I'm using a MacBook Air and so far everything took me a long while. So hopefully me by showing you all of this will do be quick because I'm going to include the desktop, the display capture, the audio, everything. So it's super easy all in one video. It might be a little long, but guess what? You get everything in one go instead of going to different videos for each one. All right, first let's start off with the download. Uh, to download OBS, you gotta go to whatever browser, Safari, Google, it doesn't matter. Oh, wrong one. Uh, this guy, I will talk about him later. Uh, you you go to obsproject.com. All you gotta do is search OBS, click the first link. This will show up. Windows, Mac or whatever that is so I'm doing a tutorial for Mac you press Mac it, it starts installing immediately Windows Windows you just press Windows but uh, I'm not really doing one for Windows but if this helps you as well then yeah alright so you're gonna download it it's gonna be black this will not be here it will show black so what you wanna do is add display capture look for oh first of all when you download it, you want to accept everything, open it. It's going to say open a thing from yada yada da and set and press yes, accept it, open it, and then you're going to open it. And I had a, a stupid problem that took me a while. It was like how to fix this black screen problem because I kept doing display capture and it was not showing the screen. But then all I did was move this and it showed, it said allow the OBS to record screen and I'm like oh my god and so I did that and here's the screen so you'd press uh, you add a display capture display capture you, you press OK uh, you choose the display and you choose basically zero and that's pretty much it cancel so now what I'm gonna do is take that out uh, that probably was in your screen you see the messed up uh, this is display capture, and you can add another scene with another picture. And right now, when I press it, it's gonna take over the whole screen, and <laughs> it's just gonna be a little joke. Uh, it's basically this. I still see my screen with that little thing, but you guys see the full thing. And I know <laughs> it's it's a little weird, but that's what I use. Um, cause you know I'm a memer. I I use that for when I'm taking a break. Well, I haven't actually started streaming fully yet, but but I got everything to know. I will use that when I'm taking breaks and whatever from streams or or yada whatever. And uh, okay, so we have all of that done. Well, actually, we gotta go to settings. You wanna go to output. Uh, everything simple. Basically, everything like this should be like this. So yeah, when you, if you're recording, uh, you can choose a file. Recording quality, same as stream. I you can choose whatever, but I choose same as stream just cause. Uh, if you choose same as stream, you cannot pause the video. So right now I'm doing this full blown, everything. Uh, you choose MP4. Do not choose another one. If not, it's gonna save it as another file. You cannot open it. It it won't show a video. You have to have it as MP4 so that you can watch it. At least that's as far as I know for now. If you know another way, then good for you. For now, for now, it's MP4, and the the only problem with this, if if your computer crashes, it won't save any progress. So you have to save it by clicking stop recording. Audio, um, are we into that step yet? And I guess we are. Oh, video, let's do this first. Video, um, people are gonna keep telling you 1980 in 1080, but that's for a bigger one. For MacBook Air, you're gonna want this 1440, 900, and 864, 540. So it's perfect. FPS, just do 60, and that's pretty much that. And so we have this book actually, audio, audio. I bet you that's why you're here. You're probably wondering, um, I wanna do, you're probably wondering how to set up audio. Basically, you're going to go to audio, you're going to be like, you're going to click this, you're like, why is it not showing me anything? And I got a solution for you, thankfully. It took me a long time to find it, so you'll be getting everything in one go. And I'm doing this so everybody, so people who are having difficult times can get everything in one go, so yeah. So, this is OBS, you download that, but I have a lovely guy, this guy. 
this guy right here. He showed me how to do it. I will put his link in the description and the link to this app. BTW, it's not a virus. The guy already did it. He said it's not a virus. And plus, I installed it for the risk of my computer. Nothing happened. So you're welcome. Uh, you basically click the link out at the end of the description. And I'll add the guy's channel, I'll add the video in the description if you want to see his video on uh, tackling uh, audio, desktop audio and stuff. So you're going to want to install it. Do, 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 do. Let me just do that for you. You know, actually, right before this, um, I was talking to myself for full on probably five to seven minutes, and I realized it did not save as a video. So here we have it. It installed completely. Oh, when you download OBS, this will pop up. You're going to want to do that. So, yeah, simple as that. Uh, you have the I show you thingamajigger, right, press right click, press open. What you're going to want to do is press continue, continue, and install it. Now, there's a couple things that's going to tell you. It's, it's going to tell you that you need to, um, it's going to tell you that, all right, let me add this to the recycling bin, so, because I don't need it right now. Delete immediately. Delete. So, it's going to tell you that, um, to allow some things, so, I got the solution for you, so let's go back. You're gonna want to go to security and privacy. If if um, you accidentally skip the thing where it says to allow it, you want to go to security and privacy. Uh, look at this page, and I want you to look really good because for me it took me a whole minute to realize there's this bottom thing right here. Click the lock to make changes. So you click it, add your password, which I have Touch ID. I can choose a password. Around here, it will say allow. For me, it doesn't because I already allowed. You're going to press allow, and then you're going to press allow to the shy white box or shiny white box, or it's I show you, one of them. And you're going to get out of this. Oh, crap. Oh, oh no, actually, that's, I got everything. And you're going to go to system preferences, settings, basically. Go to sound. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I basically sk almost skipped a step. Uh, go here and search audio MIDI. Open it up, which I already have it. Just realized. I have it down here. And it, this is going to be here. This is going to be added here. And what you want to do is add a create multiple output device. This will show up. The master device, you're going to click I show audio capture. Not external headphones. And basically just leave that the way it is. Uh, I have MacBook Air, so I'm just going to leave that. Based on the guy's video, I just left it that way. Um, press I show you capture and external headphones. You can put this, but here's the problem. It's going to be playing in your, whatever, whenever you're, when you have this selected, it's going to be playing through your speakers and your headphones. So I disabled that. And basically, this you leave this like this. Just get out of that. And now we have sound, which this is in settings. So, system preferences. All right, let me show you. And you go to sound. And this is the one here. All right, you have external headphones, which you're definitely going to want to use a headphone when you're recording or streaming. Uh, go to a multi output device. So now, now since I have all the audio set up. Oh, wait. I might have skipped a step as well. So, wait, actually, no, I didn't. So, you're going to want to have this set up. Well, actually, this is a bit after this. So, now that you got all the stuff set up, go to settings, go to audio. And you might think it, it was here, but the guy in the video, he put it here. And it still works just fine. And you got it right here, whatever, if I'm recording or something, or if, let, let's play the guy's video. Let's see. Open OBS. Today, thank you for joining me. And always you see, uh, it was recording his voice, and that works too. And over here, you're gonna want to select this. The only thing is, you can't um, change the volume. So right here, you can change it back when you're done to just your headphones, so you can go listen to everything. Here is where you use it when you're streaming. So basically, you go to settings, sound. 
and that. And that's pretty much it. So let's see, that's pretty much it for display, audio, and settings for output video. Streaming is pretty easy. Let's go to stream. Uh, I stream on Twitch. You can go check that out. It's basically just side 360. Uh, it'd be cool if you check it out after this video, if this video helped you. Basically, you go to Twitch on the computer, not on phone, and you go to settings, to your profile settings, and there should... I think you go to profile or it's one of them you just keep looking until you find stream key you copy it and you paste it here and I think we're all set about this let me just think for a second there's gonna be a little quietness let me think for a second if there's anything else that I probably missed no no that that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoy this full tutorial and thank you for midnight man uh, with this video very helpful it takes a long time to find very helpful videos and that was uploaded September 2018 but now here's full 2020 video so thanks for watching hope this helped you out and hope you got your stream set up bye